Hi people, welcome to Chess247 and you are encountering another online chess blitz video. I am playing with black pieces and we have a Larson attack, a la the Larson opening. G3, so we have a double feed kitty opening. I don't know whether we have the we have any kind of name for this opening or not. A3, I am anticipating B4, let's stop it. D3 Simple development and now I'm fully developed and castle But I would like to get the white bishop out because then my opponent will be having some white weaknesses around his king side area Knight G5 okay If he plays E4 I'll be happy to retreat my bishop and get the bishop so my white bishop off because then the board will be quite locked in so which will be quite advantageous for me but play h6 uh, to prevent any any sort of knight to g5 stop in the future knight to h4 and why is he moving this knight again let's just hit the queen h3 is a mistake i'm getting a pawn here c3 why is he closing his own bishop maybe to facilitate d4 a strong pawn duo in the center he's planning for uh, let's open up the board if it takes him i'll take the knight let's get the d file open because now I have some influence on the d file let's redevelop our bishop or uh, our knight and c5 is a good square ok bishop a3 right now nothing bad can happen mm, okay, bishop b2 hitting my pawn let's defend the pawn He's losing a piece here. He's losing a piece here. And I think there was no need to take that pawn. They could have added more pressure to the pawn. But let's now just centralize a bishop. Okay, let's go for queen trade because I'm up a pawn. Let's go for queen trade. F3. Let's get the rook involved. I'm possibly try going to double up some major pieces on the file against my opponent's king. Okay, so my pawn and the bishop are hit. I don't care because I'm threatening him with much more force. What now? Mm, what now? What now? What now? This is bad. This is just bad. I'm winning the game now. Good game. Let's revert. B3, E5, Bishop B2, Knight G6, G3. Double fin kid variation. Bishop G2, D6. Closing the diagonal and getting the dark bishop out of the diagonal. A3, I was anticipating B4 right now, so that's why I played A5, but now, yeah, but again, there's a hole on B5 for the black side, which is a weakness, but again, now he cannot really do anything about this weakness, because the knight is not on C3, which can hop in G on B5. White ca black castles, king side, black, white castles, king side, queen D7 getting the rooks connected and getting out of the opening stage knight g5 hitting the bishop bishop d5 and if e4 was played in the game then i'll be happy because now the board is quite locked in and my opponent has a bishop pair so he would likely to open the board but it's going to be closed so anyways knight g2 f3 was played h6 to prevent any knight g5 stuff in the future 
and creating the small escape square for the king also bishop e6 knight h4 no need to play knight h4, knight h4 because you know and then you're bringing your knight back he lost a pawn here c3 and now i have some great influence on the d file and he lost a piece And this is bad because now it's family flock. I'm hitting the king, queen, and the rook, and obviously I'm hitting the queen. So good game. And if you like this video, then do hit that like button, subscribe to my channel for other videos, and see you in my next video. Till then, take care. Tara, goodbye, good day.